Hey guys, Barry here from TGS with another Assassin's Creed Valhalla live stream. Overall for this game, it is number four. We're playing on the Series X, continuing on, on our new adventure. So it's the first stream of the week, so we'll be continuing uh, our, doing our entire whole intro just so everyone's aware, but we'll be continuing on where we left off. Let's get those two thoughts mixed up. So uh, let's go ahead and load in real quick. While we go ahead and cover the intro, like 5 to 10 minutes about for the intro, so if you're looking for the gameplay, it might be worth skipping forward. But if you want the information on the intro, just uh, hang around, listen in, and hang tight as we got quite a few things to cover. So uh, for those who missed out, we played this one time, you know, uh, one session back-to-back -back on the week of release. We ended up streaming it twice last week, one four-hour session, one uh, two-hour session. So uh, pretty much today we're going for a back-to-back, -back, so it'll be one long stream of four and a half hours, including a 30-minute intermission. So a uh, long afternoon session. So we're back to that. But this week we're back to only two times a week due to the holiday. We'll go with this game up to four times next week, actually, taking over Monday and Tuesday. Just so you guys are aware. So, uh, you know, it'll be kind of made up, and this game's going to take top priority on the channel moving forward. As we're going to be pretty much done with Black Ops campaign pretty soon, and then uh, Watch Dogs... We'll just have to, uh, you know, hang on to a while. I'm going to hold off on Cyberpunk. One, we can obviously wait for reviews. And two, I got, you know, too many games to, you know, manage right now anyway. So, it's not going to be an option to hop into Cyberpunk at the, uh, you know, launch. So, we'll figure it out when the time comes. But just figured I'd throw it out there. So, uh, we'll be starting around 135-ish start. So, uh, the schedule is only live on Discord. Our website, unfortunately, went down. I don't know why, but uh, yeah, it is what it is at this point. Nothing I can do about it. I will say, uh, you know, I'll work to try and get it up later this evening. But it, our schedule is on the Discord fully, you know, for the entire week, for Monday through Sunday. So that's available right now. So uh, let's see. Plan for the day is to play this back to back, so 1:35 to about 3:35. We'll take a break until about you know 4 or 4:05, whatever it may be. Not a big deal. Five minutes is negligible. And we'll go till about 6 o'clock, and that'll be it for today. So I'd like to see four and a half hours on the stream clock, unless we take a shorter break. If I do take, you know, a 25-minute break, and we make up the five minutes, we can cut off a six. If I don't, we'll do a full, you know, till 6.05. No big deal, that five minutes won't really matter. But uh, that's pretty much the plan for the day. plan for the game is we are going for a full 1,000. We only made it to 30. We have a lot to do, a lot to explore, and a lot to accomplish. So, uh, you know, one step at a time. We're going to head out and most likely, you know, uh, work on our camp, maybe do some missions. I really wanted to upgrade our camp, but uh, at this point I've already accomplished my 175,000 gamer score. The video should be coming out, I think, first week of December. I already, uh, you know, built it, modified it, everything is ready to go, so be sure to check it out when that hits. Our next goal is 200k, so, uh, you know, this game will contribute to it. I'll discuss this game when we do that video, but for now... No need to worry about, you know, our numbers until we get closer to 200k on the dot. From 200k, we'll figure out what'll come next. Probably like 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 or something like that. And then we'll go to 250, about uh, one step at a time. There's a bunch of animals down there. It's roaming. Don't even care, I'm here. So, uh, let's get this intro slammed out, though. I'm just dragging it on way too long. Today was a little bit different of a day. Had a bunch of different plans. Thankfully, I'm was basically on time, so it worked out. Uh, this week is also, just to throw it out there, not the uh, new schedule. The new schedule takes effect next week. This week, due to holiday, I only have class tomorrow, which you'll know, you know, you'll see what happens to the time tomorrow compared to the rest of the week. But other than that, uh, you know, I'll go over that as we cover the intro. So before I go over the schedule for the entire week, would appreciate if you like and subscribe. We do go to website, thegamersociety.com. Two clubs and Xbox, the Gamer Society Fan Club, DJ Screenshot Club. Social are in the description, or, uh, you know, support links, merchandise, Patreon, Razor stores, I'm a Razor streamer, rep stores with a coupon code, membership, link if you're looking to buy the game, all covered in there, so definitely would appreciate it if you check it out. Uh, real quick to go over the schedule for the week, which is our next step in covering this, I'm going to read it right from our Discord where it's live, like I said, the website is currently down, so I have to work on that in a moment, uh, yeah, not now, but... Maybe in between the streams I'll try, or later this evening i got to see what happened. I think there's just a uh, error on the site. There must Something must update, or some plugin must be updating and messing everything up, so we got to figure out, you know, what's going on. We'll figure it out, as always. Shout out to Boss Baby, what's up? 
So real quick, uh, we're continuing on with our long intro for the week every Monday. I do a long intro for 5 to 10 minutes covering all the info for the week. And, you know, subscribers requested this long ago. Had enough people requested that I do it. So every Monday we uh, cover this info in case anyone wants to watch the first 10 minutes of stream to get the full breakdowns. But uh, today's Valhalla Day, so just back to back. We'll play till around 6 or 6.05, like I said. Two hours, up to a 30 minute break, another two hours. Tomorrow, which is Tuesday, we're going to be doing Black Ops Cold War campaign from 1 to 3, 3.30 to 5.30. If uh, yeah, you didn't catch on, since I have my uh, class tomorrow night, we had to move the stream up to 1 o'clock, which is going to take you know pretty much place across the entire board starting next week, guys. So I'll go over that in a second because I'm going to cover the time changes that will be taking place next week on the schedules. But yeah, just Black Ops Cold War Tuesday back to back. Wednesday, we're doing Watch Dogs Legion, 1.30 till 6 with intermission. Thursday, which is Thanksgiving 2020, we're going to do Hunter Call of the Wild, Silver Ridge Peaks, where we're actually going to go hunting turkeys, because why the hell not, to DLC. We'll hold that around 1 o'clock. Then we're going to play Madden NFL 20. It's free on EA uh, Pass right now, since it's part of Game Pass now. We'll play that at 10.30. Then uh, 1 a.m. Thursday night, we're going to play Cuisine Royale. Basically Friday, I guess, 1 a.m., but, you know, late night Thursday night. We're doing three late nights this week. I also want to say I missed out on uh, when I put the schedule up. I forgot to add Left 4 Dead 2. It is going to be played on Wednesday night at 10.30. So uh, just throwing that out there for you guys. Cool little fact. Be sure to check that out as well. I'll fix that on the computer in a moment, guys. Let me just uh, run through the rest of the intro. So yeah, Left 4 Dead 2 is our flex stream for the week. And it's going to be 10.30 Wednesday night. Covered all the way to Cuisine Royale 1 a.m. Late night Thursday or Friday a.m. Whatever you want to call it. Friday afternoon we got Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 plus 2 at 1.30. Then the other stream for the afternoon. Then we're going to go to uh, Warzone at 10.30. Dead by Daylight at 1 a.m. Saturday afternoon we got Minecraft at 1.30. Rainbow Six Siege 4 o'clock. Then GTA 5 back to back 10.30 plus. Finally on Sunday Lego Harry Potter Collection years 1 through 4 at 1.30. That should pretty much cover everything for the week. As per the schedule. So I'm going to quickly... Uh, Go ahead. Let me see. I think I can just pop up the Discord window on my computer and make sure I correct that for you guys because I don't want to leave you hanging on that. This way, also, don't forget, we're going to hop in just a second on the gameplay. That's why I always say just push the stream forward 10 minutes if you don't want to listen to this. As it's not required. So, let's see. Today's correct. Tomorrow's correct. Wednesday. Adding it in right now. So, we have our flex. Is left for dead two, which would be 10:30 p.m. ET, and that solves that. Let me check the rest of the schedule just to make sure it looks good. Everything looks good on the Discord, so just top into our Discord links in the description, or just wait for our website to come back up. Some kind of uh, issue going on with our, uh, you know, template or something, so we'll figure it out. Shout out to Jay Smoke, what's up? Catching me at the end of our long ass intro. We only have like a minute and a half till the 10 minute mark, and I'd like to uh, start the game by then. So whenever the schedule as per next week though guys is part of my uh <clears throat> you know weekly intro here. No other stream this week by the way we'll have this long of an intro. It's usually just our uh plan for the day and game. You know, like and sub and uh what's it called? The uh the remaining schedule for the week. So as the week goes on the intros get shorter. Usually three or two two to three minutes max. Today is just a long one. Someone's bound you know, once in a blue moon someone will be like, you know, why you do this? But it's because a lot of people requested it, so that's why I do it. As per next week, though, across the board, Monday through Friday afternoons officially are going to move to 1 o'clock and 3.30. I'm pretty sure that's going to be the motion. I haven't 100% locked that in. The only other option uh, would be having 1.30 on uh, Monday and Wednesday. But I'm just thinking of doing 1 o'clock across the board so I can normalize it. It's going to be a half year of having these classes. So Monday through Friday, 1 to 3, 3.30 to 5.30 gives me a full hour before class. And days that I don't have class, I just get more time in the evening, so whatever. You know, 30 minutes I don't get for work in the morning, I'll work at night. Part of working for yourself, I guess. But, uh, moving on to, see, Friday nights are starting at 9.30 starting next week. So 9.30, 11.30, 12 to 2. We will not be playing till 3 a.m. on Friday nights due to uh, the class being 10 a.m. on Saturdays. Last time I definitely drank a little bit too much and we stayed up way too late and I definitely felt it during the class. Luckily they cut it early. But this week... I want to, you know, take better, uh, next week, I mean, take better care. This week, there's no class for Thursday or Saturday, so that's why our schedule's more liberal this week. But, uh, 
The other change next week will be Saturday. We'll be streaming 2.30 and 5 o'clock from now on instead of 1.30 and 4. That pretty much covers all the changes, as you guys are aware. Sundays won't be affected. But uh, that'll be the plan for the scheduling. I don't want to go over absolutely everything remaining on the uh, list here. I just want to knock it out as quickly as possible. So one second here, guys. Let me just open my gaming list, and I'll just tell you what the LCs that are worth mentioning. So Borderlands 3 Designers Cut, we'll have to check out. Gears 5 Operation 5, we gotta check out. I'm still thinking about doing the Division 2 raid and nothing on Truck Driver yet from my knowledge. Destiny 2 we left behind, so that's that. As per, per the pre-order list, the game's worth talking about at this point. Uh, Cyberpunk 2077 comes out 1210. I'm probably not gonna be able to play it on release due to, you know, the three games we're playing now. Far Cry 6 was postponed to 2021-2022 era. I don't think they mounts anything or flight sim for Xbox uh, Series X, but I'll have to check it out. I have a PC that can handle it now anyway, so we'll figure it out. Hitman 3, we get January 20th. I'm hoping to start that on release. Maybe, uh, you know, Legion will go into Hitman 3 or something like that. No guarantees. Uh, let's see. That's pretty much it. I left behind on Avengers and Star Wars Squadrons. Both games have iffy reviews. I haven't decided if I care to go back for them. And uh, I looked at a game called Yakuza Like a Dragon. Looks pretty cool, but... Yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm not really into those type of games, but it, it looked pretty insane, the stuff I saw. So that's it for the intro, guys. Uh, yeah, today I had a busy-ass morning, so a little bit depleted. It might be one of the days I take an energy drink. I was saving it for tomorrow. Uh, let me just think. What days are best for the energy drinks? Honestly, Friday, I'm playing Tony Hawk. I don't think we really need one. Then uh, Thursday, we're playing Hunter Call of the Wild. Again, I don't think we really need one. Pretty much today, tomorrow, and Wednesday would be the days to uh, have one, so I might grab one. So let's figure out what we're going to do in the actual game. Again, sorry for the epically long intros, like 10 plus minutes, uh, but every week, first stream of the week, I cover all that info, games we're going to play, scheduling, DLCs, pre-orders, all the stuff I'm doing. And obviously the schedule change taking place next week across the board for this channel for half a year. From there we'll see what happens after, you know, half a year happens. I'm not sure what's next, but... So, uh, people wonder why the schedule change. I'm taking a cybersecurity class, pretty much. Like hacking, defensive hacking, shutting down hackers, protecting data, network. All that good stuff. We'll see what comes of it, but uh be six months of uh, a lot of time. I think we just got to go exploring more land. I'm trying to do some raids, but all of these are way too high power. Oh, hold on right here. That's one we can hit. My goal is to build my camp up. Raventhorpe right here. We already uh, level two in a quarter or a half, something like that. I haven't played this in a week, so we'll see how it goes. Hey, yeah, while we're on this little journey here, uh, hope you guys are having a good time. Posting chat for random talk as long as, you know, I don't usually record achievement videos or walkthrough guides for games like this anymore. We kind of change our channel's, you know, strategy to achievement videos and fun videos, stuff like that. Because that seems to be the most popular tour video. So we'll obviously have a tour of this game someday, but not until I unlock all the maps. Try to step on the rabbit. <laughs> was very nice of me. Yeah, for random chat, just trying to think what's going down this week. I have three normal days. Tonight I uh, take my Italian class. Tomorrow I got my cybersecurity class. Wednesday I'm just taking a you know free night with Electrovolt, so I don't know what we're going to do. We could end up streaming a game, we could watch a movie, we could do a puzzle. I don't know what the heck we'll do. We'll figure something out. We'll wait till the time comes. I wanted to keep it, you know, just free. It's usually our lives are pretty booked out since, uh, you know, she's working from home full time. and I run my own, you know, stuff, plus I take classes online, plus I stream, so I'm usually pretty booked out. I'm going to try to plan everything I want to do. Our 
come on, dude. You can't go through there? <laughs> Thursday's Thanksgiving. I'm just chilling. Me, Electrovolts, and the dog at home. Maybe I'll post a pic of our turkey. We got, we, uh, we got this deal where we were supposed to get a free turkey. If we bought some stuff at the store or something like that, that qualified, and we got the turkey, and ended up being like a freaking 14-pound turkey. I don't know what the hell the two of us are going to do with all that, but... Yeah, I guess my dog gets some turkey, I get some turkey. <laughs> I think I read something about trying to freeze. Freeze, I don't know how the quality would be after, you know, freezing cooked turkey, but... I'm going to run out of options. Alright, I have some game plans, like throw a... Uh, Throw some on like a sub roll with some, uh, what is it, buffalo sauce and blue cheese. Yeah, can't go wrong with that, sounds pretty good. Should be interesting with Hunter uh, hunting turkeys and then we'll be playing Madden at night on Thanksgiving. Figure two streams that'll fit the holiday, honestly. What do people think about Thanksgiving in America, food and football? And we gotta get the turkey to put it on the table and Hunter, so... <laughs> I think it's the easiest kill in the entire game, so... Is this a place we gotta raid? We probably bring our, uh... Do I just run in? My people show up if I go in? They see me, this will get messy. So do I have to bring my boat all the way down here, man? Is there a dock? There's no docks anywhere. The hell's my boat anyway? I'm gonna head up here real quick. But uh, just to continue the random talk, Friday, I think we uh, might... There's always a chance of a pop-up stream after Tony Hawk. We have pretty much nothing planned, so we'll see what happens. Might try to regroom my dog because uh, we cut his hair, but the, the cutting tool didn't do a great job and looking scruffy. So, <laughs> that might consume a day, but dog problems, I guess. Especially when you ain't, the, ain't a groomer and you get stuck having to do it. Here, will it follow the river for me? Oh, God. I don't know where it's going. All right, we're just going to let the game take us there, yo. The game will take us there. We don't have to worry about navigating these ourselves. As much as uh, it wouldn't be bad to do. I've done it in Odyssey Origins. Mostly Odyssey. So, uh, you know. Black Flag. Didn't stream Black Flag, but you get the idea. But, yeah, Friday we got Mandalorian. Just trying to continue the convo. Saturday. We didn't actually pick a movie yet. It was crazy enough that we uh, that I finished Prisoner of Azkaban. We watched a movie and we're playing it in the game on Sundays. We'll, we should be finishing out that book this Sunday. I'm not sure if, if uh, you know, we were talking about possibly... I think we got dropped a sale. Oh, shit. Good work, crew. Got distracted there. But, uh, yeah, the idea was, uh, should mention in the intro, after this week's Harry Lego Harry, we're going to decide what happens. If I wait to read Goblet of Fire before I watch the movie and start the, uh, you know, that part of the Lego Harry game, we're going to probably have, like, a month off from the game. So I don't know what you guys think. Should I do that? Should I just continue the game? It's a four-year game, so one more year and we'll be done. I've seen the movie many times, so it's not that big of a deal. But it was cool in concept, so uh, one of the options is we could play something else in the meantime while we wait. For me to finish reading the book, it's 700 friggin' pages. Prisoner of Azkaban was like, what, 330 or something like that? And I just got done that, uh, you know, Friday of last week, so... This is like, I think, one of the longest books of the entire series. So I can only imagine it's gonna take a while, uh, especially with everything going on right now. I'm gonna try my best, but... I thought of just finishing it and then waiting to do years 5 through 7 maybe until I uh, get caught up to years 5 through 7. That could also be a possibility. We'll see what happens. I'll talk to Electrovolts and we'll decide. But 
That's enough random mumbling on about games and stuff like that, unless you guys have any ideas. I'm just trying to find stuff to talk about with this time. Otherwise, we would just sit here quietly rowing down the sea. The tunes aren't bad, though, so I mean... Just going into the sail. I don't know who's in the horror games or fans, but I heard there's an Outlast uh, co-op game up to four people coming out. Thought that would be pretty cool. Hopefully, we can get some subs or you know mods willing to join me on that one. Alright, we're raiding. First exciting part of the stream. I'm gonna, you know, work on making these intros for the week a little bit more direct. Oh god, they're Yale, man. That's why they're tough. I haven't played this in a week, so if I die, don't be surprised. We'll just come right back. Try again. Thing is, I don't have any food. Food, help. <laughs> we gotta go to the damn place and buy food. Like for real, we gotta like find the market and just buy like the max amount of food. And just keep our, our food maxed out at all time. Alright, my health's good. Ew. You're shooting arrows at me, motherfucker. I'm gonna go back down here and help these guys out real quick. Oh, this guy over here, help. Let's kill him. Yeah. Game's awesome. So far, I'm really happy with the Series X. By the way, I mean we've been using it for uh, well, like 13 days now, almost two weeks. Holy shit, time flies, yo. I still don't have the video off for you guys. That's something. I'll talk to Electrovolt. So uh, I'm gonna open my notes on my phone real quick. Xbox video. We have uh, the Adobe, like, has like Photoshop and all. Like creative cloud, create Adobe Cloud. I don't know what it's called, something like that. And uh, pretty sure we have like a video editing software that comes with it, but we have yet to check it out. I used to use something else, but I had to pay for that separately every time I had to use it for a month. I would get you know a subscription whenever we needed for videos. So I never was happy with any like the uh, other stuff. I would get to work on videos. I tried a bunch of free stuff, and there was always problems, and they'd always be like, "Oh, but you can use better stuff if you pay for the better one." <laughs> So I might as well get the one I want then. But uh, we'll try it out. I definitely want to get that Xbox unboxing video out for you guys. Even though it's late, it's still worth releasing in my view. It'll give you guys a, you know, an idea of what our new unboxing videos might be like moving forward. Electrovolt actually has it on our phone, so I just got to get it over to my PC. And we can hook it up in the software and get it out. I'll probably, uh, I'm not going to schedule that one, I'm just going to drop it. Once it's ready and set up, we're just going to drop it within a day of uh, uploading. Dude, I'm trying to save this guy. I almost died for him. How dare you? That's what you get. Get up. 
my thanks, Ava. crazy that, uh, you know, a year ago we were just getting ideas of what this game was going to be. There was the rumor stages, there was, you know, the, uh, the release stages. It's all in between. All I will say is time flies, guys. Help me out here. We're going to be playing GTA Saturday night, like, before we know it. There's no rush. I look forward to it, but no rush. <laughs> you don't want time to go too fast. Hastily written letter, the end is not. Did you imagine how much time though guys, I say this before, but how much time it would take to read every note they put in like an Assassin's Creed game and every like thing of data and every email they want you to read in the computer and stuff, like it would take you like an extra hundred hours. <laughs> Just too much. I feel like it would be too slow paced at like I always say, I really wish games would consider putting all this literature into actual little books and including it in the game, you know, case. Let's make a tiny little, you know, 50 page book of all the, the written material in the game so you can just read it on your own time. Be like, oh, when you make it to chapter 3, here's this information that you'll find around the map. And for the people actually interested, they'd have that to work with, which would be a lot better. Gotta go over here. Now you pay. I need to learn how to shoot arrows in this game. It's not like Odyssey. In Odyssey, I feel like uh, it, it was a lot easier because they're just like, like locked into their heads. This game's a little bit more uh, brutal with the uh, shooting and stuff. They want you to f use your other weapons more. It's more about using brute weapons for this design more than arrows. Odyssey was definitely a mix. I had a lot of uh, you know arrow abilities on Odyssey. I'm sure if we upgrade our arrow abilities in the game, we'll be set. Oh shit! Who's this? I notice this sometimes bugs and they like go out of sync and it doesn't break the door open. Ow. Oh shit. Who's this motherfucker? The fuck? Oh god. Fuck this motherfucker, man. I'm out of here. Let my health go up before I get killed by him.
sure what to expect when they announced they were going to go with this game design, but I'd say they did a pretty good job. We got him. Teamwork. That was the first time I ever came across one of those, yeah. Means we gotta be prepared for another. Mercy and Captain's report. I just want to make sure I check around first before I go opening the final loot. It's just my my way of doing it. I'm definitely considering uh, grabbing that energy booster. I realize I didn't uh, sleep as much as I thought last night, so. Probably why I feel a little bit more tired today as well. Raw materials. Let's go. Raid completed. rating here then when I uh, go to fast travel back to the camp to see what we can build we'll go ahead and uh, you know go grab that energy drink figure why not that's why I bought them just tell me there's something here Definitely looking forward to this week, though, uh, between the food, the uh, streams, the chill time, time off the class that I just started. <laughs> Basically, I had one full week, three classes, and then, uh, yeah, holy crap, it's already been three classes. Basically doing four classes just to uh, go on break. Right to my right. It's probably in this building right here. Is there a way in? Obviously. Some loot in here, man. Yeah. Ooh! That's Svetlana from, uh... What's it called? Dying Island would say. Dead Island. Alright, there's nothing else here worth grabbing. It almost might be worth going over here, though, and grabbing the synchronization point. While we're here, just in case we uh, want to travel back over here with ease. Come here, horse, so I can tell you to go there, and you can go there while I go grab a drink. Follow road. It's not available. Well, let's go grab this, and then I'll go grab it. I definitely got to remember to buy some goods, uh, maybe some health and stuff when we get back into town. Stock up on as much as possible. Is that a bear or something? Oh, God. Oh, God. Hey man, calm down buds, we're cousins. Oh god, there's like five bears, yo. What the fuck? Ah! Oh god, they're in here with the lady.
Yeah, is she fighting them? Yeah, yeah, she's fighting them. She's legit kicking their asses, yo. Yeah. At first the bears weren't bothering her, so I figured they wouldn't attack. That's why I ran up here to try and lay low, but she's gonna attack. I don't know if I should intervene or just see if she can take on all these bears. There's supposed to be five of them. I guess the other ones stayed out front. My horse is just chilling in the corner back there. Oh, one left. Anyone's uh, watching live, posting chat for a shout out, general discussion. Seems like someone's been hanging out the whole time, but just want to confirm who it is. Unless you uh, can't use chat, it's cool. But I always like to, you know, keep a lookout for those who uh, support us a lot, so. I love how the viewpoint's like so low to the ground. <laughs> Everything's so flat compared to uh, Norway. So we just unlocked this whole region right here. Oh my god. Well, that wasn't uh, wasn't the plan. Yeah, I forgot he would just insta die from a fall like that. I remember in Odyssey, I had some kind of perk where I could just jump and not take damage or something like that. We should probably not think in that way. Checking the map, there might be some over here in this building. Find the key to unlock the door. He could be. Mm, Thor lends me strength. Oh Lord, forgive not these men their trespasses. Send them. This is not your place, heathen. Leave before you draw the wrath of our father. She crazy. Did you kill these men? These defilers killed themselves by despoiling this sacred ground. God told me the full tale. Then he told me to chastise them. And he has told me much about you, too. Stand down, Saxon. I mean you no harm. <laughs> I warned you to leave. Now God guides my What the fuck? Hand. Go to hell. He's fucking psycho, yeah.
Try to get my health back before I get killed. But it's crazy none. Hey, you shit! Your time's up! I got you, Simon. Survey the area, Sunan. Oh, she go. There she is. Right there, I think she's too low though. I'll destroy Tell me again. <laughs> what did your god say about me? My god names you the crow eyed devil. <laughs> and he sends out his angels to find you and to kill you. And then they will fling you into the pits of hell, demon. World event completed. Do she have the key? So we have some skill points. Roger that to Jay Smoke and chat. Let's see, I'm trying to figure out which tree we want to do. Chain Assassination. This one is Guided Arrow is a pretty good one. I'll go for that. Just now we have Guided Arrow. So, that is that. I think for this region we're done. That's all I wanted to do here, grab that. So let's go back to Raventhorpe and see what we can upgrade. As we just uh, pillaged some little town over there just a moment ago. So basically for this game to build my own town, I'm just going to go and steal it all from everyone else. <laughs> That'd make a lot of angry people want revenge. Doesn't sound like a sound uh, concept. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's look around. If we actually send the bird out, we can. We can build Maida's house, the grain farm. What is that? Sears hut. We got a. Uh, Stable and aviary. Someone's house. Apparently, we could build a museum. So, we have the hunter's hut, the brewery, bakery. We wanted to build the barracks. Gotta get our military strong, otherwise this little town's gonna get conquered. So that was next on my list.
Where the hell's a sign to uh, upgrade the tent? Maybe it's right here. Is this it? Yep. We have a lot of supplies. And there it is. Ah, with this we can recruit more warriors. Now I can build the most vicious crew ever to sail the rivers of England. No problem. That's why I built it. So we can kick some ass. And shoot bubblegum. So what do we want next? Fishing, building this unlocks fishing line. We got train posts. Legendary animals. Tattoo shop. So I'm gonna go stable. I'm gonna get a stable going. That's yeah, where the uh, cause. That's the only guy who actually came to me asking for a better stable too. Stable. Definitely need to upgrade. It's only a lot of my resources, but no, that was a tattoo shop. Fuck. <laughs> well, now we have a tattoo shop because you know that was the definitely the next most important thing. Oh, thank you. The next thing's a hundred percent gonna be the uh, the stable. I can't believe I just did the wrong thing. Man. Well, now we have a tattoo shop, because, you know. I think, it conquers it. It is quick. I think this is what we had to upgrade. We can go pillage somewhere again real quick. We need another 200 wood and stuff. My dumb mistake, but, uh... Gonna travel down to the dock. Crazy, that's almost been 50 minutes already. I feel like every time I play this game, time flies by. I guess these pillagings and stuff take longer than I uh, realize. Yeah, that's why I think next week this game is going to get moved to four times. COD's going to be dropped back to two times. So we'll have four Assassin's Creed streams a week starting next week, guys. So, little random fact for anyone who might tune in. We'll be doing uh, Black Ops Cold War. Only twice a week from here on out, and it'll be one multiplayer and one zombies once we're done with campaign. I guess we'll do one campaign and one multiplayer per week till we're officially done with all the campaign achievements. Then, uh, well, we should be done the campaign this week, then we gotta mop up achievements, so that's a whole different extra task, if you get what I mean. The best bet might be to uh, travel to, like up to like one of these. Can't raise the sail yet. Let's put her in here. No. I'll put her in here. Ah, oh, god. Yeah, Legion will stay twice a week. Uh, you know, Flex is gonna stay, or once a month, once every two week games are gonna stay. And as we go on, stuff may change, but one step at a time. Let's go. I gotta get out away from this dock so it doesn't put me back on. No reason to sail here. Sing us a song. All right, well, let's enjoy a song. Put in a cinematic. This game's got some great tunes, man. The 
Bremen slain Valkyrie away. Take her! Reward for strain to ball her pain. Then horns resound. Why they stop singing? Monastery! Aim to fail! Check it out! Let the sail out! I think it's not because we hit when they were raid. And they all freaked out. Man, no tunes now? Sing, my raiders. Hearken well in <laughs> kings On ocean steed my words gain wing Oh, things me I forth will bring For noble deeds thine honor sing The brave man slain Valkyrie away Reward for strain to ball her pay then horns resound the mighty horn For those who fight, for those who fall For those who fight, for those who fall Warlord weaves his web of fear Each man gets his fate and cheer A blood red search the warrior shield Brave and scan the battlefield so such good tunes, I just gotta listen to the talk. We, we gotta applaud that song, yeah. Catch the wind! Let's have a song. We roll from here! This is a great way to travel. You can take in the landscape. Good time to catch up on chats between the pillages. The hell are we on the map anyway? Been traveling forever. Oh god. We're supposed to go over there. Oh, we found where we're pillaging. So I guess it was a good thing we missed it. <laughs> I think we gotta go around to it. See if I can get him to uh see if they'll go to the marker. We should like dare to uh, try and make the journey all the way to London in the game today and just make it to the city.
without having the story take us there yet. I don't know if one of the missions was to go to London or not. We'll eventually be there. All we're doing is discovering maps, so I guess it's not a bad thing that we uh, took these rivers. There it is. Right there, I'm pretty sure that's what we're going to raid. It's only level 20. We should be able to shit on these people. The last one we did was a 55, and uh, while it wasn't a walk in the park, it definitely wasn't difficult. I think my dog's going to come charging up here in a moment, guys, so if you hear him stomping, sorry about that. He just got back from his walk, and he likes to uh, get excited because he hasn't seen me for like 10 minutes. <laughs> For Sparta! Just kidding, guys, just kidding. Alright, here we go with the awesome tunes for battle. The hell are the enemies at that are telling me about? That was awesome. Uh, How's this dude? Go do your duty, man. Taking these guys out because I'm tired of them uh, shooting me with bows while I'm trying to attack these guys. We're taking over like a whole camp. shooting at me. That guy all the way up there. So I'm going to go up here and take out these guys along here. Oh. So he didn't even respond to me showing up. He's like kind of stood there. Look at him. What are they doing? They bugged? They're just like looking at me, just be like, hey.
swear some of these AI are like bugged if you guys didn't notice. They're just like standing there. Waiting to die, I guess. Maybe they know their time has come, I don't know. Big guy's killing all my soldiers, if you guys didn't know that. I don't know where the hell he is, but... Try to pillage this place. There's gotta be a door or something somewhere over here. Check up top. Nobody down there. The hell do we go all the way up here? The hell kind of enemies are y'all? Bullshit fast ones? Teamwork for the win. Carbon ingot, wealth collected. Flying or did I not learn how to yet? Maybe you didn't learn how to yet. There's definitely a lot more uh, stuff to collect on this. In this area, so we gotta go around and look for it. back here. This guy wasn't even trying. He was just like, I'm gonna die today, I guess. here for wood so where is it 
traveled land and sea for some wood for the cavalry. <laughs> Legitimately. I am not trying to make this rhyme, but I guess I did. Let's go up here. I don't know what the hell is going to be up here, but I guess nothing. Be a surprise there. Let's try going inside these windows right here, though. Once I have uh, some side cash, maybe in December or something, for uh, I might pick up Among Us, for those who are interested in that one. I also wanted to play that Fallen game. I forget the name of it, but two games I uh, would like to get. I can't imagine they're that expensive because they're not that advanced, but you never know. I think it's like Fallen Guys or something like that. So I know that's a popular one as well. See if there's any way to get inside of this to our left. This makes it look like it's right over here somewhere, but I'm not finding shit. Look, 30, 26 meter, 24. So I got that one. I mean, maybe it was just a person on the ground that had to loot. Didn't realize we'd loot people individually as well. Here it is. Book of knowledge. New ability, piercing shot. Try going down there and see what the hell's down here. Can we open the big door? They all just rushed all the way down there to find me just for me to leave.
da ab. Ciao, I'm trying to revive him. Damn, may I? Where's the shooting at from up there? Going up here to see if I see anything. supposed to get that one. I don't think we got wood and stuff. Like, where the hell is this stuff at? I'm saying, you see that glow? Alright, we gotta start using the bird a little bit more. Just saw that where that one is. Let's go grab it. Check how much wood and stuff we have, and never try to look at it. Let's go in the bag. We got two hundred. That whole raid, we got no wood. The heck! So it's still showing more. There's something like right there. That's where we're at though.
So let's use this. So there's one 696 that way. 221. Let's go to 221. This still might be in the camp because it's all the way over there. If you know what I mean. All the way back where we where we entered. Climb the slider. And nice to J smoke on D and D. Yeah, I'm playing this till around six o'clock is the goal. We started only like five minutes late from my initial plan goal, like 135, so. We'll either take a 25 minute break or we'll take 30 and end of 6.05, I mean, whatever. If the weather's not bad out, I might take my dog out. That's about it. But uh, this week should be interesting with the uh, one we have the Wednesday night stream. Then Thursday we got uh, two, we got two streams a night. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I haven't done that in a long time. I'm gonna guess I'm gonna be exhausted by Sunday, sleep wise. So. I'm about to run to the store though. Uh, we're gonna grab some wine for Thanksgiving. Then Jen Jack will be hanging out too, probably the rest of that weekend. This is taking so long. Where do I? So I have to. Uh, do I just break the ropes? something there. Must be blocked from the other side. Let's go and go around the building on the outside and see if we can get in there. There's like no windows. think you just oh I gotta shoot the actual thing not the root two skill points. Oh my god, missing these shots. So 900 meters away, 600. 
we collected like everything we can get here, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure. So our gold now should be at the... There's something yellow showing up there, you see that? But I can't figure out what the hell it is. Makes no sense. Who the hell's still alive? time going back here to check for this if we can't find this whatever but I'm trying to collect all the wealth and stuff and uh, I think that's a wealth marker some form of money or something could just be uh, money on like someone dead up here but it's enough to warrant it shown on the map so how to how to they gotta maybe go inside of here Shout out to uh, RC Young, what is up? And uh, definitely pretty happy with the Series X so far to answer chat. Everything's been pretty good. The load times, the uh, you know, the color quality, all that good stuff. Uh, you know, they did a pretty good job with it. I'm pretty happy with it so far. Even for other games that aren't Series X or optimized, even look better from Minecraft to uh, you know this or that. I think it all relays on our stream, so if you go back like a few weeks and check out our Minecraft stream then watch the one via the Series X, I think it is definitely a lot better. This is 18 meters. Maybe we gotta go down the stairs. It's in this damn room. Question is, how do we get in that room? They slide. There you go. Leather, all that good stuff. This raid kind of sucked. <laughs> we didn't get anything that I actually needed, like wood. Uh, let's see. I don't even think this is the raid we were trying to do. We were trying to do this raid right here. And I think we ended up at a completely different raid and raided there. Thank God it wasn't one of those, but... I guess we'll have to hit this raid next, because I, I definitely need more stuff. I came all the way here to get some wood. Can we break this door open? There's no no highlighted or cancel that. Not worth it. Let's go. To answer chat, I have no idea. I'm gonna guess at some point though, they're, I heard they're gonna be upgrading the uh, Minecraft graphics for Series X with all that stuff like ray tracing and all that. So it should be coming eventually. And whenever it does, I'll definitely turn it all on for you guys. Obviously for myself being that as well. I've been, I'm trying to run every game at max, especially on the Series X. And uh, For PC games, I plan to start trying to stream something sometime down the road. I need a new mouse. That's the first step. Probably to uh, getting up and running. There's a lot of PC games that I could stream and we can you know, mess with settings, try and run, uh, you know, really high quality. I might even try and record a 4K video down the road. We'll see what happens.
I have to look it up if I need like a 4K recording device to do 4K. We'll have to see all what's up with that. If that's the case, it'll take longer to get into that, but uh, one step at a time. I'm just gonna tell my ship to go where we need it to go. Need Stuck on the shore. Look there, enemy camp, Favor. The boat's like fucking stuck here. Are you seriously telling me that we're, our boat's like stuck? forced my boat to go into this spot and now it's stuck here so unfortunately to go do this next raid we're gonna have to travel back to a dock point and then travel all the way back up by a river Everyone knows we're about 30 minutes from a break, so just be aware of that. Cool. So we got some stuff here, some points to spend. to open this uh, one up over here. Explosive corpse. Booby trap a dead body to damage anyone who investigates it. We got some upgrades going. Man, your oars. You can't raise the sail here. Strike up a. All right, they should do the rest of the work. Have them sing us a song and make our way there. Good. 
Save it for later. I don't want to rain. We have a set point. Take us to the raid we're trying to go to. That's the raid we already completed. We need them to get us all the way up here to this one. Sing us a song. Look there! Priest to pillage! Some tune. Let's try the next song. See what kind of songs they have in this game. Try another spot I raided earlier. We got a long journey still to go. Let's have a song. where we're trying to go. Raising, Raising it to put it back down. <laughs> what an ass. Raise the cell. Put it down. Pretty sure the next raid point that we hit is where we got a raid. We can continue later. Run up the sail! Run up the sail! It's the calmly parking dock. I don't think this is the plan, guys. Let's get back in the boat. <laughs> Down safe! To your oars! I like how they complicate raiding. We can't just pull the boat. We gotta, like, ram it in the shore. Shall we raise the sail over? Manually taken over here. I'm sniping that with this archery and it's still nothing like Odyssey. Odyssey it felt so easy to aim and just just like insta like locked onto their head. Stuff like that a lot easier when you target it aimed but we'll keep working on it. Got a lot of headshots right there. I'm pretty happy with that aim. Oh what the hell man. Back to the ship. 
I just raided this tiny little camp. It's not even where I was going. We got some supplies, I like that. Check the map. Something over here. I think that covers it. Doesn't seem like there's any more uh, highlighted spots. Alright, let's continue to our actual destination. I thought that was a raid because uh, I didn't expect some tiny little raid to be in between. But apparently you can raid tiny little camps as well. Let battle sweat flow. You must grow in these waters. They should have it on their control. Not right now. Let the sail out. Now's not the time. Must be sailing here, Amon. Sing, my ravens. Sing, save it for later. Sing, save it for later. <laughs> hey, hold on, so they brought me to the destination and then they point me towards the shore and then it tells me that when I want to raid, I have to point it towards the shore. Tis confusion! Monastery Avon, raid for plunder! Checking out the properties, see if I can get some health somewhere. Ooh, someone saw me looting their house. shit to rob so this will take some time she 
Pretty sure probably went inside before we burn it down. But then like every Assassin's Creed game, you get stuck trying to climb something every once in a while. I opened the door for him, he didn't want to come in I guess. Let's get him up. Let's see what we get in here. Raw materials. My teammate just fell off the bridge there, if you guys didn't see that. He seems okay though. <laughs> oh shit, didn't see him. Ingot. Give me a hand. Should be somewhere over here. Appreciate the four likes, by the way. What the hell is that underneath the tree? It's gotta be in like a basement. I have more soldiers over here. Get 
any way into this building. this open. Raid completed. Wealth collected. Make sure this place is entirely raided before I do actually leave. I think it is. I've been spending this entire uh, stream so far just raiding. We're now 48 minutes in. When we do hit two hours, we are going to take a 25 to 30 minute break. I got a few things I want to take care of, go see what the dog's up to, stuff like that, and come back and play another two hours, so. Drink that uh, half can of Red Bull and still uh, don't feel as alert as I should, so. Gotta make sure I catch up on sleep tonight, that's for sure. Didn't realize how late I stayed up last night, and then I uh, woke up early anyway, so. Well Guess it was bound to catch up. So let's go ahead and go invest the money into a new stable. Which was my goal the first time, hence why I had to go re pillaging. I think it conquers it. It is quick, clever, accessible to all. It is the art of the masses. I think we'll get an achievement for reaching level 3 with this as well. Achievement. Build our 20 gamer score. Reach settlement level 3. Ravensthorpe is now a hamlet. Because those are nicknames for how big the town is back in this age. So we just upgraded from a village to a hamlet or something like that, whatever it's in. So now if we uh, upgrade even more, we'll turn in. I guess, I guess eventually once you build this entire region up, you basically have a little town. By the time it's all said and done. The grain farm. We don't have enough. We should have enough supplies for something. Send the bird out to find out what I have supplies for. Any more supplies, even though we have a shit ton of wood. We're missing the the little supplies, I guess. Those are two high uh, level raids right there. Yeah, it's London. I really want to go to London. I almost want to journey down to London after the break. What do we have? We have like eight minutes. So I don't know how long it'll take the journey, but if you guys see how far it is, it is a hike. Basically, we'll start here. We gotta go all the way around here through Grant Bridgeshire. Then <laughs> we go down through Oxenfordshire, and then eventually you get into London. From this picture, it's supposed to have its own, it looks like a Colosseum.
We have another city over here, which would be Winchester. Is there any other major cities we missed out on? We're really close to the break, so I'm just trying to think what we could possibly do. We have to save a bunch of quests we gotta take care of. Let's do this real quick. A wise friend says to meet him at the dock, and we're like 70 meters from the dock, so. It only makes sense to go meet the new arrivals. I think we're just welcoming more people to our village since we expanded, so I guess they're coming from Norway or wherever the heck. Or unless they're locals, because there's already people here. I don't really know. Able. We'll find out. What a pleasure to see you. How do I welcome them? Oh dear. It feels like it's been so long. Valka, my friend. You're most welcome here. Are you well? Better than well. I am present. And your mother? My mother has found her peace at last. She walks through a world seen only in dreams. And will forevermore. That is all any of us can hope for. Indeed. Come. How was your passage? Exhilarating. The waves and the wind were with us from the start. We flew like seabirds. And how are you? In spite of your stoic look, there is a brightness in your eyes that warms me. It may be a kind of hope. A settlement is growing. The people are happy and I am looking forward to more. And your visions? They come and go. But leave all that aside. Let me help you with your things. This way, we found a fine spot for you at the foot of the hill. Hmm. Every hour we traveled, I tried to conjure in my mind some vision of this place. And how close were you? I saw the trees, and the water, and the rolling hill. But I could not foresee so much green. It is a magnificent and calming color. A balm for sea salted eyes. Volka! God, Zabo! What brings you? Hope there isn't a curse on the settlement or some such. Ha! <laughs> the only curse on this place is their great lout of a blacksmith. It is a rare feeling to travel across the sea and still find oneself at home. This place feels powerful. Alive. Do you foresee great things for us? No need for foresight. I feel it in my heart. Oops. Didn't I mean to put that down? I thought I could uh, pick up That's stuff Valka, like. I, I can't. So Wanted to ensure there the we go. place was up to snuff. We must talk again soon, Randvi, once I'm settled. And before my arms fall off, what is this I'm carrying? My heaviest reagents, of course. Lead, whalebone, flax of gold. Put this one to honest work. That is what I like to see. All these people you have brought here. This life you have built on these stranger shores. Does it please you? It does. To know that I've built this place and kept these people safe is a gift. You speak first of yourself when I ask this question. Which says more than you intend, I think. Salve, Eivor. Ad Meliora. Good day. Where the hell is she going? Who is that fellow? I have no idea. Well, the town must be bustling. You see there? Your home is just ahead. Tell me about your visions. They are as they have always been. Little has changed, save their clarity. With every return, the things I see feel less like dreams and more like memories. Is that her house? And does the old father still appear before you? From time to time, yes. He speaks to me as well, but I feel mad to say such things aloud. I understand. You can put those just there. Thank you. And here we are. Lovely, just as you promised. As soon as I am set up here, 
We can return to the matter of your visions. Valka, please. You are touched, Eivor. A conduit for godly tidings. Please, let me help. I may know a way to clarify these visions. An elixir that may open the door of your mind into the realm of the gods. If you think it would help, I can finish your home myself. Only give me some time. I would be grateful. Thank you, Eivor. Of course. And welcome home. So, quest completed, a wise friend. We need a uh, 60 to build our house, so. Just looking at the clock on the stream, we're at an hour 58 minutes. I was saying I was going to take a break at the two hour mark, which is less than two minutes away, so we're going to go ahead and start moving towards uh, pretty much taking the break at this point. There's not much else to it. Uh, what we're doing is taking a 25 to 30 minute break, come back and play two hours based on, you know, what happens from there. We'll figure it out one step at a time, but uh, when we come back, maybe I'll start plugging through some of these missions. We gotta build her house, find all codex, find and kill the members of the order, and upgrade our settlement. We gotta speak with Birna, speak with Life, and speak with Galen. I also wanted to try and venture down to uh, London, so maybe we'll we'll go against the game's time period of when I should go there and just hop on our boat and make them take us there ahead of time. We'll figure it out, but uh, I'm going to pause the game here. When we come back from the break, we're going to continue on right where I leave off right here right now, so you know, uh, the second I get back, we'll just continue on. So real quick, uh, I want to give shout out to our supporters. So shout out to BBT on Patreon, he's also a YouTube member. Shout out to Camp Surge and J Smoke for being members and Super Chatters. And shout out to BF2 Weekly Vlogs for being a member as well, appreciate the support. Since we're going on intermission, here's our intermission screen, I'm going to post in chat real quick. So I'll just post it in chat, intermission begins now. Returning by 4 or 5 p.m. ET. So uh, I'll see you guys in 30 minutes or less. Then we'll play for two hours from there, and uh, that'll be it for today. One big stream. Shout out to Jay Smoke and anyone else who uh, hung out watched the stream. Definitely appreciate it. Otherwise, peace out.
Hey guys, Barry here from TGS. With a continuation of our Assassin's Creed Valhalla live stream over on number four, we're going to be uh, basically continuing where we left off. We uh, stopped after about two hours of gameplay. Took about a, just on a 30 minute break, a 25 minute break, as I initially was hoping to do. And now we're going to play another two hours. Just got back, actually decided to uh, take care of some exercise during the break and some other stuff I had to do, so. Still just catching my breath because I tried to rush to uh, get back on, so just bear with me as a moment, but uh, we're kind of just going to wander around and see what there is to do. But I guess we'll do a mini intro, so plan for the day was to play this back to back. We started at 1.35. We did 1.35 to 3.35, we're going to do 4 o'clock to 6, and that'll be it for today. Plan for the game, still going for a thousand. We unlocked like one achievement this entire time, so nothing uh, to go on about there. Not going to do the full deal, but would appreciate if you like and sub. Check out our social, check out our support links, all that good stuff in our description. And lastly, uh, for anyone interested, I'm not going to cover the full schedule again. Refer to the first ten minutes of the stream for that info, but... Uh, tomorrow is going to be Cold War back-to-back -back all afternoon starting at one o'clock. With intermission ending by 5.30, focus on uh, campaign. No Cold War PvP this week due to the holiday, so decided to give the spot to uh, Warzone later in the week instead, so worked out. I didn't get a chance to look at the site, so I'll try and do so later. I'm not sure, uh, you know, why it's acting up, but... I'll try, uh, I got it working after, you know, trying to fix it. I have to figure out, there must be a plug-in that, uh, you know, causing a problem. It happens. I have not had a win all day. I must turn this around. This is that, uh, little game we can play. I'm gonna do that real quick. Orlok. Orlok. A game of skill. Orlok. <laughs> How about a game? Let's do this, then. All right, then. Let us begin. So I play first. Just gonna go for one die. Their turn to roll. This will do. I'm pretty sure we're going to get damage on this phase. Back 
in the roll phase. Should grab that hand that stole. It's gonna go in the full out attack. Maybe a horrible idea, but we're gonna try it. tactics this will do He won. Could have been anyone's game. Are you going to walk away now with your head hung in defeat? Let us play again. Another round. Yeah, let's quit. It's rather get out there and do some stuff than uh, sit here playing a board game in the game. We'll be back Hello. for that. We got to get a win there. Pretty sure got to win at least once in every like city to unlock stuff. Say how I wanted to go to London, so let's do it. Let's make the venture. Hey, boy! Hey, boy! Let's go. Alright, I'm gonna let it take over. I'm gonna go back, go uh go off mic for like two minutes while we're journeying, but uh I'll be watching. I just had to put my headset down to reach where I'm going. Did some uh like weight lifting and core exercises and I'm gonna go see if I got some protein shake. Tastes pretty good, it's like chocolate flavored, so I wanna go grab some real quick. Enjoy this great song though. Sounds the mighty hall for those who fight, for those who fall, for those who fight, for those who fall. Warlord weaves his web of fear, each man gets his fate and share of blood red surge, the warrior shield. Ravens scan the battlefield. 
ravens scan the battlefield. The beaten place of a trail of bread, alone in gaze upon the dead, and horns resounds the mighty horn for those who fight and those who fall. For those who fight and those who fall, they haunt with sound the mighty horn. For we who fight, for we who fall. Take the mask down. Take it again. Take it again. Stop! We cannot raise the sail here. Back on mics, you guys know. Monastery, over there! Do -do -do. While we're cruising here, enjoying the view, I'm just doing something in the background on my phone since we gotta wait the journey out anyway. Just running low on uh, what is some like what's called a whey protein for lifting, so I had to put it in order. Not some hardcore lifter, but I do like uh, to do a protein and anytime I do some weights. So. Trying to optimize. Optimization is key. Raise the yeah. I don't know how are we anyway. We're getting there, but we're discovering some new ports and all that stuff. We uh, found some new raids, but they're too high level. So.
We should be really close to uh, London at this point. Pretty sure this is London over here. Drop the mask. Yeah, Sloppy approach into London. Up. Is there like a dock here or something? Continue. So welcome to London. I had to my, make my way here to see what London is all about. We've been playing this game for a little bit now. Definitely looks nothing like it did in Syndicate or anything, you know, near that era. Which is obvious, because it's such a long time ago, but... Still got the columns from the Romans. My goal is to get up on top of one of these buildings and look around. There should be a uh, viewpoint around here somewhere, right here. Today just feels like a good day for pillaging, exploring. Not too much the main storyline, but we'll, you know, consider. This looks nothing like what I would have expected it to look like. It's all because of that uh, Roman influence. It's a whole different city than what it is today. You see all the uh, statues left behind. Pretty cool. Kind of takes me back to the... Kind of reminds me of, like the uh, old school, you know, Italia, Assassin's Creed's or uh, the Greece one. Just the vibe I'm getting from it. <laughs> so apparently, they had their own Colosseum in London. Interesting. I was at the real Colosseum, uh, I guess, right around a year ago. Definitely plan to go back, but unfortunately not an option now. Maybe in a half year we'll be able to start resuming life. Synchronization. This one's, of course, all the way inland over here. Do we dare take the journey to Winchester from London? We barely seen London, but uh, I'm I'm just in an exploration mood today. Maybe we should just go explore everywhere and kind of get it all unlocked, because then we can fast travel here anytime we want in the future and come truly uh and eventually the story will bring us here anyway and we'll spend a lot of time in the city i'm sure so let's call my mount and uh see if it'll take us over there it's a hike it'll take a while but let's do it like i said at some point you're going to, have to discover this whether we do it now or during a mission won't matter we can just fast travel in the event we need to make it there for a mission anyway so Welcome to London. It's got a cobblestone on the main street and everything else is dirt. And apparently wood as well. Let's get over the water. 
So we're leaving the uh, the city limits right there. Even a night may not be the best option, but it'll work. I'm not too worried about it. Just for random chat, guys, there's a bunch of stuff I plan to do uh, for TGS, so you guys know we're going to go ahead and uh, get some new Discord stuff set up. I'm going to set up an announcement channel. I think a next-gen discussion channel, old-school discussion channel. We're also going to add a 21-plus channel for uh, you know people who want to yeah, you know, you're having a drink and you want to post a pic of it in our Discord, you know, you can do that. You know, other things as well, you know, obviously there'll be a limit. It can't go too wild, but it'll be 21 plus, so you get the idea. We'll also apply some 21 plus roles to that because we're going to need people who are only in the 21 plus, uh, you know, division. So I'll have to add, uh, you know, that strictly. And it'll mostly be mods, maybe subs that I confirm are 21 plus, but that's about it. So we'll be open to mods who are 21 plus, but uh, you have to reach out to me privately once it opens up. I think I did the playlists for uh, Assassin's Creed already and stuff like that, so check those out as well. map is a lot. I wonder if they have Stonehenge. I doubt they do. If they gotta have Stonehenge. That'd be cool. I'd be willing to go find that. That was my previous gamer tag. It was Stonehenge Bear. It was meant to be Stonehenge Bear, no lie. And then I, uh, it was already taken, so I just changed the E to a D. And that's how I got that name, so. Random fact about my past gamer tag. I'm, I'm happy we left that gamer tag in the past. Do I love this one? No, but yeah. Unfortunately, I can't just get Bear. Some guy who helped like develop the game got Bear, and even though he hasn't been active for like five years, it doesn't let me take his name, so it is what it is. I thought of making my gamer tag TGS Bear, but then it would be redundant. We play games like, you know, Call of Duty, or, you know, we'd have our in-game clan tag TGS, and then we'd have TGS, so we, we'd end up being TGS, TGS Bear, and it's, it's just, I don't know about that. So we'll see if I uh, come up with something different in the future, but for now, it's here to stay. The bear, the bear will stay. The first portion may go. For now, it's gonna stay. Just random chat. So that was London back there. This looks like a really nice town we're coming up on. I think we're here. Basically, what would have been Winchester. Inside the town, please. Oh god. Are we allowed in? Or is this an enemy? Is this an enemy camp? I'm kind of nervous to go in because I don't know what to expect. Fair winds today. Is this like locked down? Am I not allowed in the town? Sounds like they're getting mad at me. Oh god, we're not allowed in Winchester. And we're such a low level that we're gonna get like insta-killed unless we get out of here. Well here we are, illegally in the city. <laughs> I was unaware that we were entering uh this, so this is where the Templar would be. Is this the home of the Crusaders? Like, that's what it looks like. And their uh, skill levels are so high they have red skulls, meaning do not F with them or we're going to die. So probably the best idea is to leave. We at least got it unlocked. There's a city over here if we're willing to make the uh, the journey. 
That'd be one hell of a hike, but I'm willing to give it a go. To be totally honest. It's about six six thousand meters away. Holy shit! Hey guys, sorry I'm not hopping in the missions and stuff. This game has a bunch of components: main story, side missions, and exploration. Pretty much sums up the game. You have the main story, you have the side content, and then you have you know going around the map and exploring the map, and you know to travel around the map you gotta explore it. You get what I'm, you know. That's what I. Just gotta, you know, make sure you guys understand what I'm doing. I'm not just wasting time. This is all being done in, with the purpose of unlocking the map. So we just saw a Z-Lot back there, apparently. It'll be a nice long journey to where we're going. I, uh, I skipped out on doing anything there, but if we see any of these, you know, directly in our route, maybe we'll, uh, we'll stop and grab it. There's a lot of big open flat land in this uh, area. I think I'm gonna buy this DLC for Hunter for se it's only seven dollars, so it's really cheap. It's called uh, Silver Ridge Peaks, and uh, they have turkeys in Silver Ridge Peaks, so it only was fitting that uh, yeah we were gonna run Silver Ridge Peaks on Thanksgiving. So a little bit before I eat my Thanksgiving dinner, I'm gonna go hunting in the game. <laughs> I thought that'd be pretty cool, line up uh, you know, and then it just like makes sense for Thanksgiving. Go hunting for turkeys in Hunter in the afternoon. And then at 10.30, Madden NFL football. I'll be, I think for Hunter, it'll probably be me and Cam Surge. And then for Madden, it'll probably be me, Cam Surge, J-Smoke or something. Doing some kind of random, I don't know, 2v1s or 3v this. Or, we'll have to figure it out, but I think we're all going to crack open some wine or whatever and have a good time. So it should be a good time. Should be a fun uh, three-night weekend. I'm just going to have to make sure I take that into mind. Make sure I get some sleep. Don't overdo any of the nights because then we'll regret it and end up cutting early some other night. You guys get how it is. So we're just like running through some little village, just running people over, but... I think we're in a uh, enemy territory, to be totally honest at this point. Like, this entire region is probably not where we should be. Oh god, look at that guard, dude. Fuck that, I'm out. <laughs> Leave him alone, go! These are all like max level Templars. Maybe I shouldn't be venturing down here. Let's look at the map, see where the hell we are. We've made it, so there's London, so you guys know, we came all the way up from here, Raventhorpe, all the way to London, rode our horse all the way to uh, Winchester, just to go all the way across the map to wherever the hell this is taking us. Chent, Sent, something like that over there. We'll get there and we'll find out what's going on. Maybe, yeah, maybe it means Kent. I think it's Kent, England. It says Kent in the game, but it's Kent. It's a county in southeastern England. The city of Canterbury. So it's Canterbury. That's what it is. And it features a Romanesque crypt and medieval stained glass. Yep. Because this game's like right after that period, so you can tell from all the Roman structure everywhere. They literally, uh, they came, they conquered, and now this is, I guess, the aftermath of, you know, them taking back the country and, uh, Resuming their life with the Roman architecture everywhere, which eventually got largely dismantled. I'm sure there's still some stuff here and there, but if you guys, you know, even if you go to Rome, most of it's gone, you know, forever, so. 
Like the forum and all that's pretty cool, but beyond that, a lot of the stuff around the city is long gone. Or lost in the ground, you know, you never know. So uh, really nothing to talk about out here, we're just like in the open land, just traveling far and wide, trying to make it over here. Nice rainy day. Everyone knows we got approximately an hour and like two minutes left or something like that. Well, an hour, an hour and 32 minutes, my bad. Minus five, an hour and 20 cents. So, like an hour and 25 minutes, about something like that. Yeah, that sounds about right. Not, like, right around six o'clock because it'll, uh, the stream clock will say an hour, four hours and 25 minutes, but it'll be four hours of gameplay. And, you know, regardless of the break, I'm going for four hours of gameplay, not total time here the break if you get what I mean so four hours is our goal of game time and uh we should be right up on that by six o'clock there it is Canterbury that was a nice long journey I don't know where else we can go but might be worth getting back into uh, some pillaging or something. Let's 
here's Canterbury Cathedral. I mean, I guess this is going to have a major, uh, you know, takeover or battle or mission. Something's going to happen here. I'm here just to climb up and get this uh, point, then we're going to get the hell out of here. I don't know if I want to do more exploring or if I want to get back in the missions. Exploring's fun, but uh, I really don't know where the hell else we could go. We might have to go back on boat. I don't know. Horseback works because we unlock more of the map that way in a sense of uh, seeing the ground instead of just being on the water front the whole time. But Welcome to Canterbury. Looks like the real estate around there would be great for a uh, country club. <laughs> Probably is one there by now. I would have loved to get these, but there's three of them. Jeez. And it's a hike to go back over there. There's a city all the way up there. I'd actually be horrified to see how long that would take by horseback. Destination cannot be reached, but it's like any other towns or something I haven't seen or Yeah, is that Stonehenge? Stonehenge would be cool to at least get over there and unlock that area. And then from there we can figure out the rest. fast travel onto our boat and take our boat there because obviously our horseback is not finding a compatible path. Old school GPS problems. <laughs> Can't race the sail yet. Let's get out here and let's have a song. Get out where we need to go.
Set the mast up. Run up the sail. Uh, we're making our way over. Once I get over here, I almost want to, you know, take the long way to where we gotta go, just because we've already been wasting so much time exploring that, uh, you know, this way we can unlock a lot of the map and see where there is we can actually go. Just by doing this, we're unlocking all the raid spots where we can pillage and get more resources, so. It's going to take a while to get over there. Let me see what level is this. It's probably way too high level. Thanks for helping us reach almost 2095 subs, guys. This might be the week we hit a 2100, which is awesome. Greatly appreciate it. Hope we can uh, pick that up still. Keep this going. Whether you drop a like, subscribe, drop a comment on a video, send us a super chat. Anything is greatly appreciated at this point. Everything helps us, you know, grow. So definitely appreciate it, guys. Might as well put in cinematic. Hearken well in Hall of Kings on Ocean Steel. Reading Gum Abbey. Sing, my ravens. Hearken well in Hall of Kings. On ocean steam. We'll pick up from there. Yeah, uh, just kill this guy or something. Let's hear a story. Some time ago. Hopefully be there pretty soon.
Don't think this is what I meant to come to, so don't think it's Stonehenge. But while we're here we might as well grab this synchronization point. Only makes sense. We'll look around the map, see if there's any good pillage spots, and if so we'll uh try and make our way over. Let's go over this way. these. We need one that's uh, within our level of power and then we'll make the journey. They're all too high. I feel like East Anglia Fast travel there to save some time, and then we can head by boat right up to uh, that other viewpoint and try and you know expand our outlook, see if we can find something in the uh, the reasonable leveled areas. So if we don't get much more done today, today's gonna be more about getting us set up for future streams. So the whole idea is to conquer this entire uh, you know island. Or region of the island. We're not taking over the entire, you know, England here, but let the sail out.
nice cruise in the ocean. Seems like we made it. <laughs> made it to Northwick. Tiny, but it's a decent sized city. over there. Seems like he knows where to go. I'm gonna go ahead and remove all mine and then reset it. Should be hard to get to there. Should be very possible. I just know it's uh, gonna take us around the city. It's better than taking a boat again. We might as well go by land this time. Change it up.
Ghouls everywhere down here. synchronize this point so everyone knows we got uh just around an hour left maybe plus a few minutes at most but we're getting that final stretch here for today we did a lot of exploring in the last hour look how much of the map we've uh, uncovered which is awesome too bad there's nothing like there's no raids for some reason out there Parallel is only a 31, so. making the venture to here. Kind of like trying to just open up these regions to get an idea of what's available to us because we definitely need more rating or we can just do more missions to level up at this point is also an option. He's freaking out, pulling a uh, Assassin's Creed Origins or Odyssey. Apple cart has fallen. These apples must. Random, uh, just saw a uh, 
apparently Star Wars Squadrons was came out a month ago is already on sale for twenty three ninety nine. Like what the hell? This is why I didn't play this game. Like if you have to lower the price after releasing it a month ago, there's something wrong with your game. To me that's like a red flag. In Avengers I heard there was issues with the end game portion, so we'll see what happens. I may or may not get into those games at some point down the road, but uh, for now, we just got to keep it to what we're focused on. Get these games done thoroughly and go from there. random talk I'm trying to think not much going on for me tonight after the stream guys nothing exciting gonna take the dog on a uh, nice long walk so I can get my cardio in I think we're having salmon for dinner and should be taking my online Italian class later as well beyond that nothing really to discuss Maybe start reading the Goblet of Fire tonight, if possible. So open up all that land. One of the goals in the game is to get all of the uh, synchronization points, I'm pretty sure. There's probably an achievement like that, so we're going to have to watch out.
Seems like we can open this door. It's a whole nother area discovered. It's awesome to have this much map opened up. Got a fast route down to London. There's apparently a viewpoint not too far off from it. Might as well go grab it. been more so a day of uh, exploration, collecting viewpoints, trying to uh, discover new areas. So we didn't really get make much productivity in our missions, but we did make a lot of productivity unlocking the map. Because I mean, earlier today, I don't think anywhere below like this point right here would have been visible. So all of this we just discovered today. Fortunately, I'm not finding any raids within my level. We might just have to continue on the main story and uh, level up to do any more of these. Get down the horse. Alright, seems like the horse should know where it's going to get me to this other viewpoint. It's only uh, 400 centimeters away. But uh, we're in London right now. Way, way old school London, hence it looks this way, but still pretty cool. Seems like we're holding holding ass. Appreciate the five likes, by the way. It's been a little bit quiet ever since we came back from the break, but uh, we still got just over 45 minutes. Like I said, four hours and 25 minutes are our goal due to the 25-minute break. Four hours plus whatever the you know the intermission was, so four hours, 25 minutes. 
Which means we're approximately like 45, 50 minutes away from the end. So let's just keep maybe knocking out these sync points so next time we come back we have all this stuff unlocked already. Venture over here, we'll start tackling stuff down that way. Uh, sorry if I'm a little bit quieter toward the end of the stream. Like I said, guys, last night I didn't sleep that well. I think I didn't fall asleep till like 1 in the morning and still had to wake up around 7 or so and uh, I think I woke up a lot last night too so just catching up with me slowly so I'm, that's why I'm taking the chill uh, approach today. We used to do a mix of explorer missions, today we're doing just full out explorer. Next stream we'll kind of make it up by going into just mission grind if you know what I mean next week. We should have uh, four streams of this next week, Monday, Tuesday, both full days. So it may only be today for this week but due to the holiday but next week. Monday, Tuesday, most likely both just Assassin's Creed back to back. Which will allow us to make a lot of progress. That's a nice big chunk of progress. Maybe, uh, you know, 25% of the main story. Some along those lines. I say today, the rest of the stream, let's just keep going viewpoint to viewpoint to viewpoint. And just unlock everything on the map so when we uh, you know, need to access it at a later point, we don't have to waste the time traveling. Just makes sense to me, so let's do that. Whatever the hell this is. The other side is bad. What the fuck? Apparently we just got insta-killed by a random bear. That was unexpected.
we'll climb up here. Dusty scroll. Trying to get up there. It's a crazy ass structure to climb, but here we are. So let us see. There's nothing else really over here. We can jump to that one next. The horse is broken. Uh huh. I think my horse is like broken, guys. Ram the deer. <laughs> Only five hundred meters off from the viewpoint. Traveling here.
Just checking to see what's going on because it's taking us way down here, but it's just wrapping us around on the road. Nice long climb up here. About 35 minutes left. Might go do some mission after this because doing this exploration is fun, but it's getting old. Just in a sense of, uh, we've just been traveling by horse and boat all over the map checking it out. It's a good thing we made all this progress, but, uh, you know, it has limitations. So I'll have to think about which route we want to go here. We're way down here in the south. where the points would be in Winchester. For these three points, I might actually go to Winchester. From there, though, we might change it up. The other option would be to go here, to here, to here, to here, to here, to here, to here, and eventually out to there in that order, making our way across the entire bottom of the map. It's sad we're doing a mission next, but uh, I want to go to Winchester again. We got scared off because the enemies were just insane. There's a uh, you know, Templar Palo Clu Crusader Palooza over there, so... So we need to go basically down into Winchester and try and move around, grab these three viewpoints, get synchronizations going. So once we have all those, that'll pretty much cover that city pretty thoroughly. Be able to travel in and out real easy. Pretty sure that's it right over there anyway, we're not that far away. Well, never mind, that's a separate city back there. What is that then? Uh, that must be the uh, Runkuda Abbey. One of the highest level uh, pillage missions you can get.
Right, we're almost at the top. Here's our first viewpoint of this uh, city. The city is like, we're like level 30, the city is like level 300 and something, so we should not be here, but I'm here grabbing the viewpoint, so let's do it. If I get whacked like once, I'll probably insta-die, so our whole goal here, even if I get hit by an arrow, we might die. I got hit once by a bear in this region and just insta-died from full health, so we will have to be extremely careful, but I want to try and do this. So, um, two more points. So with the remaining like 30 minutes, I'm either going to try and hit all of these viewpoints across the map, just take horseback and just go all the way across knocking out all these southern viewpoints, or we'll go back and do some missions. I'm barely into the game, but I have uh, un you know already unlocked all of this map region. That's kind of my goal is to uh, unlock the map, make it easier to get around. As no matter what, no matter how you play the game, you're going to have to unlock the map, if you guys know what I mean. So that's why I'm kind of grinding it out here. We're dead. We're dead. How did I, how did I not die? I, I, I don't know. I don't know what just happened there. I should have died. <laughs> I know we're gonna get chased by uh, somebody eventually. There's no guards over here, surprisingly. <laughs> the old minster. <laughs> the other viewpoint's probably that peak right over there. I kind of wish we explored Norway a bit more, but eventually we do go back, so once we go back we'll be able to fully, you know, get around there. My guess is eventually we'll be able to just go back and forth so we can mop up the game. So there's going to be a lot of side content, a lot of collectibles, stuff like that that we got to worry about most likely. Alright, we got the Nuns Minster here. <laughs> I 
got it. Fish did all the synchronization points in this region. Like none of these regions are worth doing right now. I think I'm gonna go up here and do this region. At this point we might as well just about to go grab that and then just kinda grind it out, honestly. Are you kidding me? Destination can't be reached. It could definitely be reached. So at least, like, at least get me there. From there, I can take over. But to make life easy, I'm gonna let the horse uh, autopilot take over. Drunk as Thor with Alvon? Well, you made it. Jewel, I will. I shall whittle in your duck pond. Wolf, who must say that we're a fool. So seems like if we just follow this road that's not even a road we'll get there. to Warham. So How about them? Our game, can I please climb?
waiting off these enemies so I can get the same the view uh, point. So these enemies are level four, 340 and I'm like level like 33, so I should, I'm not trying to die. We'll die if we get killed here. I just uh, been trying to unlock a lot of the map. So we're in some high level spots. If this goes successful, I'll probably just travel up into here and maybe uh, with the remaining you know 20 minutes we'll ta try to hit this, 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 like kind of in order like that. Because uh, eventually we just started out up here and I've been able to unlock all of this today. I think it'd be cool to unlock most of the region, but I'm going to move focus next week to just grind in the story. Because we spent the entire day today kind of exploring and I think we did like uh, two or three pillages. But definitely wish you were a little bit more productive than I, story-wise at least. I mean, I guess we did upgrade our uh, our village of Raventhor. Let's try back to the Nun's Minster and then we'll uh, take horse to pretty much the next viewpoint. My goal for the stream clock again is 4 hours and 25 minutes because I wanted 4 hours of game time and we took a 25 minute break in the middle after 2 hours. So 4.25 will put us right on par for a 4 hour stream of uh, you know 4 hours of game time, 25 minutes of break. Which means we're approximately you know 20 minutes out from the end. So. 20 to 25 minutes, whichever happens, but we'll base that on, you know, where we're at viewpoint wise. We'll just keep grinding, but uh, I'm not going to go past 6 or 6.05. That'll be our official cutoff today. No more Assassin's Creed this week, unfortunately, but we will be doing a Cold War campaign tomorrow. Watch the Legion on Wednesday, so. And then we get into the holidays. I decided to take, uh, you know, a break this week from the, the usual grind and I have a bunch of fun streams starting Thursday. Yeah. But uh, not this week, but next week this game will make an appearance of uh, four total streams. So next week we're going to really start grinding this game out. Especially if we can finish our Cold War campaign tomorrow. Leaving behind just, uh, you know, zombies and PvP work. Each of these journeys won't take that long, but they uh, kind of just wrap us all up around in here until we get over there. Plug in my phone real quick, guys. Uh, take me like 20 seconds off my. Just in time for our arrival. <laughs> my phone's getting low, but uh, taking my dog on like a 20 minute walk around the neighborhood and living in the city. I, uh, gonna take advantage of uh the fact I play Pokemon Go and we're gonna pass like at least ten Poke stops, so I'm gonna grab all my stuff. Maybe pass a gym and grab some XP or something. We'll see. <laughs> Takes a good like twenty minutes to do like a three block by three block by like three block radius that we try to do. Especially when your dog has to stop at like every bush and sniff it. <laughs> I 
I have a feeling we're going to make it pretty far east. I don't know if we'll be able to hit the ocean. But. Have him get to work on heading this way. This one's about a 800 meter ride. Then from there we'll break south and then we'll break more east. It's kind of more of just uh, hopping around at this point. Playing this slightly different than I did the other games. Uh, for those who don't know, I streamed a ton of Assassin's Creed on this channel. We did 100% playthroughs of Unity, Syndicate, Origins, Odyssey, and now we're going to try the same for Valhalla. I played Assassin's Creed, you know, 1, 2, Brotherhood, Revelation, 3, 4, Rogue, all these back in the day before I started streaming. So I promise at some point I will do the remastered versions of all those games. They never remastered the original, so that one I might have to do the original AC, but for AC 2, Brotherhood, Revelations, 3, Rogue, they're all remastered, and I won't be surprised if they one day remaster AC 4. That was probably my, I think my least favorite Assassin's Creed's are 4 and 3. Three went overkill with guns, and it really like threw me off. My whole vibe of you know, my, how I played Assassin's Creed got thrown out the window when they added you know guns everywhere. And then on top of that, uh, AC4 I just felt like was just enormous, enormous map, and I kind of got bored with it. But I think uh, you know since I've enjoyed Odyssey Origins and now Valhalla, which are kind of similar in the context of big open worlds, at some point I may go back to Black Flag and like replay it on stream for you guys. One day we will have all these streamed on here, but yeah, you know, one step at a time. So we just went back and did a GTA 3, Vice City, San Andreas 4. I have never streamed GTA 5 story on the channel, even though I beat it twice. Just way back in the day, I did that, you know, when it came out. So we also gonna do GTA 5 on story, hopefully, uh, you know, springtime or something. But uh, Assassin's Creed is definitely up there on the list of series that I'd like to play entirely on the channel as in you know every game completed same as call of duty stuff like that bunch of uh you know maybe tom clancy will do the original c i mean rainbow six and ghost recon and blah 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 so here's what i'm thinking hit this hit this hit this uh we'll hit this hit this hit this hit this to there something along those lines this is not very exciting so I know that it wasn't a very exciting stream but it was very productive we unveiled probably 50% of the map today plus pillage and leveled up to you know level 3 village we only have like 12 minutes, you know, less than 15 minutes left, so I gotta get hurry in here, see what we can get done. Let's go, horse, go! So checking the stream clock, 4.11, it'll be like 4.12 by the time you guys hear me talking, and 4 hours and 25 is our uh, goal for 4 hours of game time, 25 minute break we took in the middle, so. I said that before, but just had to verify for you guys that that is the case. Tomorrow's streams will start at 1 o'clock for a Cold War campaign, so just keep that in mind as well. But uh, just so everyone knows, Cold War will be determinant in if we can move Valhalla to four times a week next week. If I don't finish the campaign, we're going to keep Cold, well, move Cold War back to three times next week and keep this at three times next week. And then the week after that, meaning uh, I guess... Uh, Second week of December, we'll bring this to four times a week. Cyberpunk's just, uh, even if I buy it, it's going to go on the shelf till I'm ready uh, to, you know, add it on the channel. We're too, too involved with Cold War, Valhalla, Legion, and then trying to keep all the other stuff we've been playing for fun, like GTA V heists and stuff like that. When the heists go out the window, we're probably going to do stuff, if you guys know the yacht missions and all that kind of stuff on GTA V. And we'll find more stuff to do, I guess, over time. 
or we'll end up replacing it with something else. You never know which way it's going to go. Maybe we'll uh, try to get into Red Dead Redemption 2's uh, mission store lines and stuff like that for co-op as well. No guarantees, but it's always a possibility. Four great players of true game. Is this like Dungeons and Dragons or something? It is. Character scrolls. That's pretty cool. It's like a uh, Dungeon and Dragon Easter egg. Our uh, Ma J Smoke plays Dungeon and Dragon on Monday night, so kind of funny that uh, he was here earlier, had to go. And that we find this over here. Too bad he missed it. I'm sure he would have liked that one. Nice little Easter egg. D and D. bridges to get over there. It's probably going to take me some whack route. This one's a little bit further than the last one. 1700 meters out. It's going to let the horse do its thing and autopilot as well. Honestly, there's not much out here. The uh, landscape of Odyssey was definitely more interesting than this, but we are also in the England phase. So we need to get back to Norway and go, you know, Norway was had a really stunning uh, environment with all the mountains and snow and everything. But we didn't really get a chance to explore there because, you know, we basically got thrown out to England uh, not too far into the story. I know we go back at some point, but... Not till we get there in the story wise, and there's a lot to do here, so we'll probably be here for a long time. With a 100% playthrough, I probably have to do all the main missions, all the side missions. Yeah. I don't know if we have to collect every single piece of treasure. I really don't know, but we'll probably have to do a lot of stuff. A lot of exploring. A lot more, you know, than I'm doing now, not just skipping around between viewpoints, but actually stop at each individual location, get what we need, and move on. That's what we did in Odyssey, so. Hey, my issue. Crossing, uh, basically a Templar bridge. Crusader bridge.
And here we are. Traveling around the map as we go through the story is going to become phenomenally easy with all these viewpoints I captured. It may seem like, oh, why is he wasting time spending a you know, whole afternoon doing viewpoints and locking maps? All that good stuff. Definitely for this. one first and then break down to these two. Seems like a better idea. Looking at the stream clock, we uh, have about five minutes left until we hit that 425 mark. Then I'm off to uh, take the rest of the evening to do other stuff I gotta take care of. So. Fifteen hundred meters away. But uh, next week we're not going to continue on exploring viewpoints. Next week we will 100% start grinding out the story, probably for the entire uh, for you know day Monday. Then Tuesday we'll consider what we want to do. But if all goes to plan, I'm hoping to have eight hours of uh, Valhalla stream time next week. Six to eight, but preferably eight. But again, that's based on how Cold War goes tomorrow. So if I do finish a campaign or Cold War tomorrow, my first full playthrough. On a realistic, we can consider so. Otherwise, we'll have to, you know, consider uh, keeping this uh, three times a week. Just this, Cold War and Watch Dogs are only being streamed two times each this week because, uh, you know, we're doing some specials like Thanksgiving, we're doing Hunter to Hunt Turkeys and doing, uh, yeah, well, what's it called? Uh, Madden NFL 2020. We're bringing in an extra stream of Warzone. It's Cuisine Royale week and not Warzone week, but we're bringing in Cuisine on top, I mean, uh, Warzone on top of Cuisine. We got Left 4 Dead 2 making an appearance this week for fun, just a throwback to long ago. So, this will be one heck of one of our busiest weeks on the channel, like stream-wise and the amount of games we're playing. But it'll be awesome. I should be cautious. But uh, next week I get back into my program that I'm taking for a half a year on cybersecurity. On top of that, we'll uh, get back to normal scheduling. So, we'll have normal scheduling till I guess uh, you know the two weeks around Christmas and New Year's, and we'll. Have a bunch of holiday specials and all that good stuff. That'll be a good season for grinding games out because we'll have a lot of more free time those two weeks to uh, you know work this all out. Definitely this year doing Christmas Eve slash Christmas Day streams and uh, for the first time ever I think in like five years of streaming we might do a prior to New Year's and you know early a.m. New Year's stream. So like maybe something like you know nine to eleven at night and then you know one a.m. till three before and after midnight so I'm probably going to still take off and not stream live while we're going through the midnight celebration might as well go uh, enjoy some drinks and some f whatever we're going to do some f snacks or whatever the hell is going to happen but uh, usually New Year's on this channel we're pretty quiet because I'm usually busy with something but this year with uh, what's going on I'm definitely not going anywhere so Maybe we'll get uh, you know del food delivered and stay home. Sort our shit ton of food. Go crazy. Maybe like a steakhouse kind of night order or something like that. Something. Especially since we haven't been able to go out dining often. Definitely have to enjoy the holidays.
So technically, basically, technically out of time. If we really look at the clock. Because uh, 425 was my goal when we were at 423, 424. So, fortunately guys, let's go ahead and go through skills, inventory, and codex and get off. So we have two skill points to use real quick. Upgrading all my stuff. So yeah, manual save one, manual save two. All right, there's our exploration, manual save one, 12 hours, 36 minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and end out our stream today, guys. So shout out to BVT for being a Patreon supporter as well as a YouTube member. Cam Surge, Jay Smoke for being a member of Super Chatters. And PFG Kavox for being a member. Definitely appreciate it, guys. Appreciate all the support. Thank you guys for helping us so much reach 2,100 subs. It's friggin' awesome. So, looking forward to possibly crossing that line this week, especially with the holidays. It means a lot more. Uh, usually, holidays means increased viewership, increased subs, you know, all that good stuff. So, I'm really hoping we see that in the numbers this week, hit that 2,100. And, uh, you know, eventually we get to 2,500, but, you know, one step at a time. Won't happen overnight. We're slow growth, but we're steady growth, so that's always good. Wish it was quicker, but, you know, one step at a time, we'll do our best to see what we can do to keep improving our, uh, you know, views and all that good stuff as we move forward. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Like and sub. I will catch you guys tomorrow on, you know, Black Ops Cold War for a campaign all afternoon, and let's hope that we get it done. Otherwise, we're going to have to push it one more week into, uh, you know, disrupting this game, getting its four streams on uh, next week as well, but... My goal is to eventually move this to four times a week, Legion and COD at two times each a week, and that'll be the plan for now. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good night. Peace out.